Hey everybody, this is Blade bringing you my first painting video. One of my goals with making battle reports is to help to motivate me uh, finish painting the rest of my army. I'm generally pretty slow at it, uh, mostly because I'm busy and whatever other reason, but uh, the majority of my army still needs painted, so I figure that uh, while I uh, do battle, I will also attempt to get uh, at least a few models painted between uh, each one. So this is uh, this the purpose of this video is to give you a close up of what I'm working with so far. These are white lions. Uh, the biggest conversion done to these is obviously the helmet. Uh, I used a Bretonian knight helmet in order to give them more of a uh, foot knight look. Uh, I, I like that look and it fits the theme of my uh, my story and my army pretty well. So um, these are white lions and the white lion banner and we get into the white lion champion. Uh, I like the way this model turned out. Uh, he is standing on top of the, the statue, part of a statue or whatever it is um, and I just like the way the uh, the mud and the boots and all that stuff blends together. It's also on his greaves and a little bit on his armor as well. Uh, the other thing that I was trying to focus on uh, with not just the lions but the entire army in general is the uh, the dry blood appearance on the weapons. And here's a different view of the uh, lion champion. Uh, this picture is in here just because I had a I had it taken previously and I think that the quality of this picture and the lighting and all that's better than uh, what I took for mostly all these other ones. And here's the white line musician. And here's a picture of the white lions in their unit just to kind of give you an idea of how all the colors come together and the basing and all that stuff. Next up is the Lore Master. You'll notice he doesn't look anything like the Games Workshop Lore Master. Um, I heavily converted this guy mostly because I really hated the way the Games Workshop uh, Lore Master looked. I thought it looked uh, like he was tripping and he had uh, some sort of an octopus or a squid in his hand or whatever. So I took the model Volkmar. Uh, I believe he's a an Empire special character. Uh, Phoenix Guard legs, a Bretonian helmet. A, a high elf uh, it's either a prince or a BSB or it just comes in the pack uh, the sword and uh, the shield is dragon prince so it's all uh, pieces from a lot of different models but I think it came together fairly decently next up is my prince on uh, barded steed and yeah, this is generally my uh, Army's general, and uh, he usually uses the uh, ogre blade, uh, and that's why he is depicted with a sword. Next is my silver helm champion. Uh, I actually don't have any other silver helms uh, painted, just the champion at this time, <clears throat> but it kind of gives you an idea of what the color scheme will be. Uh, and something that I'm working with on the silver helms is putting in a slightly different color. In this case it's going to be yellow. Uh, I think it brightens it up a little bit. Uh, yellow I kind of like to have in the scheme anyways and uh, it also gives the Silver Helms uh, something unique as well. Uh, I'm actually thinking about doing this for all of my other units as well in the future. I just haven't decided what that's going to be. Um, you know just putting in something small and unique for each one as far as the color goes. Next up is the Sword Masters. Here's the rank and file. The banner. And the Sword Master Champion. I've also got a picture of him in here uh, that I took previously and that I again same with the, the Lion Champion I thought the lighting and everything was just better so I threw it in here and here's the Swordmaster unit last but not least is the Frost Phoenix uh, this guy 
I kind of did look into the high elf lore a little bit, and I uh, I liked it. He apparently is an older flame spire phoenix. So as they as they grow older, they get colder. So they stop burning quite as hot, I guess, as when they were younger. And uh, the color scheme that I chose for this guy um, it is so that it kind of looks like in his chest region, he still has a little bit of the flame spire phoenix left. Um, basically his his heart or soul or insides or whatever are still burning uh, underneath all the ice but as you get further and further away towards the tip of the wings it gets darker and darker until finally it gets to a uh, frostbitten black uh, and then of course that is uh, the only exception there is the frost which covers the, uh, the little some people like to call them flowers or whatever but yeah so I've got little uh, white frost spots going up and down the wings. This is a close-up of the base. Uh, this is more or less just a test. Um, this is actually a high elf archer, uh, but he was pointing, so I thought it was kind of neat um, to show a model down there pointing out the frost heart phoenix uh, just before he swoops down and uh, freezes everything. Uh, and this is, of course, the uh, freezing aura that they have. I think it's called the blizzard aura. Uh, where it gives uh, every unit in base contact the minus one strength and always strikes the last rule. So that's kind of depicted here. I'm actually thinking about uh, replacing uh, this high elf archer with like an orc goblin or a small pack of goblins or maybe even a dark elf or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think and uh, if you have any opinions or suggestions on painting or uh, conversions or anything like that, I'm open to uh, any suggestions. So yeah, uh, let me know what you think on that, and uh, thanks for watching.